Now, Florida Championship Wrestling from the 28th of March. We're a little bit behind on that. Now, WWE not wanting anyone to see their young stars outside of Florida, especially not an international audience. But then we enjoy the program, so we do find ways to watch it. And indeed, the uh, streaming websites are always handy for that. But certainly, I think that WWE should want FCW to be shown. Maybe uh, get some sort of uh, reactions from the performers before they hit the big screen and maybe tell a little about how they will go over. Now, Abraham Washington and Byron Saxton were calling the action this week. Donnie Marlowe, the son of WWE legend Hawk Who, he took on Biggie Langston. Of course, FCW has many sons of former WWE legends and performers on the roster. Uh, of course, we just mentioned earlier, Brett. You know, Donnie Marlowe was with the daughter of Jimmy Snuka, I believe. I don't quite recall her name, but I was very impressed by Donnie Marlowe. Great worker, and I think you could maybe, apart from the A-list, swap him with Otunga, and you got the same guy. Yeah, he's got he's got the look too, I think, Marlowe, and uh, <clears throat> his mic skills are, are quite good. Um, and, you know, Haku is a legit badass. Uh, if you've read some stories about him over the years, and uh, having that kind of a, a background, I'm sure, drilled into you by a guy like Haku, definitely pays off. You can see it in, in Marlowe straight away. And, and I think uh, he's kind of ready for the big time. I think he put him, put him on SmackDown, he can, he can deliver. Oh, yeah, SmackDown would be a great spot for him. Maybe if Drew McIntyre moves over, perhaps you could put the Intercontinental belt on Donnie. He is very, very tough, and indeed... He seems to probably be a legit badass as well. I mean, certainly the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. And in the case of Haku, we've all heard about what a tough guy he is. Haku's a tough, tough guy. Yeah, you don't want to mess with Haku. Certainly not. Who knows? That's what we've heard. And a lot of uh, former wrestlers may even challenge that statement. But I've certainly heard many wrestlers saying that Haku, one of the toughest and one of the greatest, indeed Donnie Marlowe, following in his father's footsteps and indeed hanging out with Jimmy Snooker's daughter is always going to get you places. And uh, yeah, Johnny Curtis uh, was in a match. He uh, has a peculiar gimmick, certainly this week wearing gloves. Checking out the cleanliness of the FCW arena. And they always seem to give something to their guys. Nobody walks out of those curtains without something. And I got to think that Dusty Rhodes is in there knowing how important a gimmick is for a guy. And knowing how necessary it is to have something like that to get him over. It's very, very, very true. That, I think that's why FCW is entertaining. And why we actually enjoy it and put it over so much each and every week. Uh, and likewise with Ring of Honor, I think. But um, yeah, do, having somebody like Dusty in the mix down there, um, and developing those characters and, and getting them when they're real, just fresh and green, and, and putting that gimmick on them straight away, and letting them out into the world, and to, just to see how it falls is always a good thing. And I think if Michael Hayes took a few notes out of Dusty's book, SmackDown would probably be in a better position. But uh, it's reluctant and um, the product suffers at the end of the day. Yeah, Johnny Curtis taking on Leo Kruger. This guy is kind of a Tarzan gimmick. He comes from South Africa. And indeed, the commentator is letting us know that he worked with Justin Gabriel over in South Africa. And indeed, apparently noticing Justin's success, he decided to come over and give it a try. And luckily enough for him, now in FCW, he seems like a really classic old school wrestler. Uh, he's got the trunks and boots, but it doesn't affect him. He has a different look and indeed sort of a Tarzan print on those tights. And, yeah, he reminded me of somebody who can really mat wrestle and somebody who can really perform with skills and not just showmanship. Uh, Leo Kruger, very impressive this week. But Curtis pinning Kruger after a long competitive match. Yeah, and here's where another clash of, you know, making these, or pairing people up where Snuka's daughter, whatever her name is, would have worked with that guy more so than... Putting him with, uh, what's his face, Marlo, uh, Haku's son. Be not to say that uh, Snooker is a Tarzan or anything, but I mean, he's closer to Tarzan 
than anyone has ever been, I think, probably gimmick wise. And it would be a nice little, uh, maybe a little bit obvious, but I think uh, she would probably have to go with those that kind of a look too, which might be a little bit worrying. But it could be fresh too. It could be fresh and it could be different. And FCW always try their best to do that. And indeed, we do indeed love FCW. Washington and Saxton was a fantastic combo on the commentary and they hopefully will work together more in the future. Maybe Washington can come back to mainstream television. We had Jimmy and Jules Uso who are in fact the new Florida Tag Team Champions and backstage these guys caught a fantastic promo. Never heard them speak but they have a real turn of phrase and very legit as well. Those Samoans certainly always doing uh great things with their gimmicks and never short of something to say and impress us with and the Usos this week very briefly on screen hope to see more of them soon now we had the divas in the general manager's office then Kurt Hawkins and Jackson Andrews came in uh, looking for a tag shot the dude busters Kalen Croft and Trent Beretta they were looking for a shot as well. It turns out the Dude Busters will get that shot next week. Also, Derek Bateman versus Joe Hennig. Joe Hennig took him out. Uh, shades of Kurt Hennig there. And then, of course, Tito Nieves cut a promo. And I think Primo on uh, WWE TV perhaps should be worried about this guy, Tito, coming up. Yeah, Primo's guy is going to have his hands full with a, with a character like this. Um and uh, Carlito too for that matter but uh, yeah look out Primo I think uh, somebody's coming to crush uh, gimmick wise uh, with this guy yeah indeed the uh, Tito Nieves promo was interesting and he certainly looks exactly like Primo and Primo not having too big a push maybe there's another person nipping at his heels now but finally then that main event Alex Riley versus Wade Barrett and Justin Gabriel in this match a new Florida World Heavyweight Champion crowned in that of Alex Riley a very long competitive match this was as good a main event as you would see on a pay-per-view it really was these guys absolutely went hell for leather uh, no sign at all that they were in a small arena. This was big stuff. It was the type of thing we might see high up the card on maybe one of the smaller pay-per-views. But all those three guys have got a big future. And indeed, Alex Riley, hopefully, season two of NXT. Yeah, I think Riley works terrifically. And he was uh, very impressive over the last couple of weeks of, weeks of, of FCW. But having those three guys, I mean, that is the next kind of generation.